guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kalina. Today I want to show you my perfect recipe for the crispy baked banded chicken wings. I use often bake instead of deep frying as I love to eat healthier and I don't want to feel guilty after all. This recipe is perfect for your next gathering or party and your kids should love it. I also want to know your preference. Please leave me a comment below on which way do you prefer by typing often or deep frying. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the super crispy crust. If you want to know how did they turn out, make sure you watch the video until the end. So if you're ready, let's start cooking. Let's go through the ingredients. We have 5 teaspoons of cumin powder, 3 teaspoons of Jamaican allspice powder, and 1 teaspoon of chili powder. This is optional. If you are serving the kids, you can skip it. 4 tablespoons of soy sauce and 1 teaspoon of brown sugar. Let's take a look at the Jamaican allspice powder. It actually contains a blend of cloves, cinnamon, and nutmeg. It can add a lovely warm flavor to the dish. You can always buy the spices separately. I get this from the local supermarket and it is super convenient. And here are the ingredients for the crust. We need an egg, a cup of cornstarch, and a cup of breadcrumbs. Here I have 16 pieces of frozen chicken wings, which I have already put them in the refrigerator one day before, and now they are completely defrosted. These wings are from France, and this is the brand. They are organic wings and they taste really good. Use some kitchen paper to pat the chicken wings dry so that they can absorb the seasoning better. Okay, now put all the spices into one bowl and mix them well. Now we can put the spices to the chicken wings. We just need one third of the powder and we save the rest for the later stage. and then soy sauce and the brown sugar. Toss them for a while and make sure they are evenly cover up the chicken wings. About marinating the chicken wings, some people like to cut through the middle and they think that the seasoning can absorb much faster or the wings can get cooked easier but I can tell you this is not the best way because the skin can seal the chicken wings and if you make a hole there the juice will come out while it's cooking and it will become very dry at the end.
We leave them in the fridge for one hour and we can move to our next step. To give more flavor to the crust, I will add half of the remaining spices to the bad crumbs and also add some salt. Mix them well and now it looks good. So for the remaining spices, I also add some salt and I will use it for the last stage. They look nice and good and before we make our crust, we need to preheat our oven to 200 degrees celsius. We need some baking paper to prevent sticking. Add a little bit of oil and toss them evenly. Okay, done. And we need to beat the egg. Okay, now everything is ready and we can start our crust so take a piece of chicken wings and dip it to the cornstarch it's important to make sure that this layer is not too thick you can pat the chicken wings just like that to remove the excess of the cornstarch Okay, let me show you how does it looks like. And now we can dip it to the egg. And then the bad crumbs. Okay, let's take a look. This will be perfect. And do the same for the rest. For ladies, if you want to eat chicken wings but you don't want to eat too much fat, you can cut away the tip of the skin. I'll feel less guilty when I do that. Place the chicken wings nicely on the rack and make sure there are spaces around each of them and I will put it in the middle of the oven and bake them for 10 minutes. It smells so nice and now I need to turn them over and here they sound super crispy and I can't wait to see the results. Put them back 
back in the oven and bake for 15 minutes. Let's put all the spices in a small drainer and we will sprinkle them on the chicken wings. Every time when I open the oven, it smells super nice. So let's sprinkle all over the chicken wings. Turn them over and sprinkle again. All the skins should facing up and I move them to the top level and bake for 5 more minutes to get a crispy result. Ta-da! Wow! They smell really nice. Yay! We are done! This is my super crispy bandit wings and I'm going to try it now. Mm. So yummy! Mm. So good! I hope you guys love this recipe and enjoy cooking with me. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the notification button for my latest updates. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!